Nicole Scherzinger returns, joining us is her dance partner, Derek Huff. He, by the way, and Brooke Burke, who will be here later, were the winners in season seven. Derek and Nicole have been at it or near the top of the leaderboard every single week this season. They also earned two perfect scores. Here are some highlights. You are like a divine enchantress. Okay, Derek, you won season seven with Brooke. How, how good is Nicole doing? Nicole is doing great, man. She is uh, so fun to dance with, and she's so inspiring. You know, um, I'll come up with a few moves, a few dance steps, and she just kind of inspires me to do some, some great things. So it's been a great season. She's how important is he, Nicole, to you? Oh, he's all right, you know. I just do my thing, Larry. No, um... <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Oh, he's, he's been an unbelievable teacher. He's actually made this whole experience really fun. We have a lot of fun in the studio, learning everything. We're like kindred goof, goofy spirits here. But um, he has the same work ethic and drive that I do, so. What's the hardest part of this, Derek? The hardest part for me personally is coming up with all the choreography and, you know, with so many different you routines. You the lead choreographer? Yeah, yeah. All the, all the professionals do the choreography yeah. and I think that not just a physical strain but just the mental strain of just coming up with things and trying to be like you know innovative and creative and you know because you feel like you're responsible for how well they do because you know you're their mentor you're their teacher and so if they don't do well you kind of feel responsible so it's uh that's kind of the hardest part i think do they say to you each week do they say nicole this week the tango yeah you're given the dance you have to do? You're, you're given the dance that you have to do in the song. And it's crazy because as a musician, it's really hard not to choose the music. But we're given a dance in the song and we make it work. Like when we did our 50s Paso, they're like, you're going to do, we're giving you the Paso and you have to choose an era. And it was the 50s. And we looked at each we're other like, and we were what? like, <laughs> and it was basically just Bo Diddley jamming out, having a jam session. And then we had to just do the Paso to it. Yeah, it was Carrie Ann, is that considered the fairest? by giving each group the dance and the music? I think it is fair because then it, make, it gives them a really interesting challenge. It's not just about their own artistic expression, it's also about how well do you, do you deal with these challenges. And Because the, the whole competition is about learning all these different dances under these certain conditions. It's not just your dream choice, you know? Yeah. Bruno, do good dancers do every dance well? Yes. The thing is, you have to take each dance and make it a unique experience and reinvent it each time. And that's really what is the key. For me as a judge, seeing something, I say, okay, they're going to do that. And then they just hit me with something extraordinary. And it's something that you actually have done. You've taken on some of the most difficult choreography I have ever seen in this, since the show started. And you pulled it through. I just, I'm sitting there. I said, what are they going to do next? Does that put that more pressure on you, Derek? Pardon? Does that put more pressure on you? You know, you have a perfect score. What are we going to yeah, do next? Yeah, absolutely. Week? In fact, that's that was one of the hardest things about this season was we did so well at the beginning. You know, I was like, oh man, how do we keep this up? You know, throughout the whole season, and that put a lot of pressure from the start. But you know what? She's fantastic because you know even when I get kind of frustrated or, or tired or like, oh my gosh, I can't do this. You know, she's been a fantastic cheerleader. Like, you know, come on, Derek. You know, I believe in you. You can keep doing this because as much as I'm helping her she's equally helping me as well, you know, through, through the process. You ever call your mother and say, what did you get me into? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Every day. No. Her family is fantastic. Whenever they come in town, though, they always bring us, like, Lay's and, like, little goodies and Even stuff. Even we get cookies. Oh, no, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. Lay's, too. Yeah, we, yeah, like no. that. <laughs> we like gifts. Do you sense the competition? Are you in a com Are you sense that you're against these other two. I definitely don't sense that. I don't. think I don't sense it. I think Chad, um, even though I found a banana pill the other day after Evan <laughs> performed on the stage, but <laughs> just joking. Um, Good line. <laughs> um, no, I don't. I don't sense it. I, I think um, Chad said it best when he said, "I'm my own competitor." You know, great biggest competitor. I compete against myself the most, and I'm honestly, I'm rooting for Evan and Aaron. When I see them, I'm just excited for them, and I'm like. Sometimes I give Evan, I try to give him, I'm like, come on, Evan, I want you to go out there and kill it. Can you make it. up for a misstep? 
I'm sorry, Ryan. Can you make up as a skater can fall sometimes, still oh, win a competition? Of course, yeah. I mean, the, the thing is, is the, the truth of the matter is that all of, all of them have very, very special qualities. Anything can happen. Anything can happen on that night, and, and they really have to take it individually as... We're back with the three finalist couples competing for the coveted Mirabal Trophy on next week's Dancing with the Stars. Aaron and Max, Evan and Anna, Nicole and Derek. All right, it's down to this. Aaron, you got a shot? You know what? It's These guys came on stage right away and got tens and nines. We were the only ones that got sixes. How does that feel? I'm kidding. <laughs> we're, this is going to be a new week for him because I'm actually probably going to be pretty chill because I don't feel like the pressure's on us. I think everyone is expecting us to kind of come in third. So we'll see how that strategy I works out. I can't wait for that week. <laughs> are you saying, Max, that you are the comeback kids? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think last or first? You know what? I'd love to <laughs> see that happen. Come, come over here. <laughs> you back together again. You know. <laughs> no. back together again. We're working. It's, oh, we, had, we had a talk backstage. I don't want to deal with it. No. It's your business. <laughs> I don't, it's your business. You're back together again. <laughs> All right. You're a competitor. Come on. You're, a, you're the competitor. You going to win? Well, I think actually both of these other girls are extremely amazing competitors in this competition and they've delivered under pressure week after week and for us our goal all along was to make it to the final so we're glad to be here oh the old humble bit <laughs> the old humble bit no it's true though women, women not girls women girls yeah. i just want i just want to inappropriate <laughs> you're inappropriate Evan. you're inappropriate larry you're really inappropriate <laughs> larry i just want to point out that all of these people max aaron nicole derek evan and I'm somehow got here too. It's the most amazing final you're gonna see, and it's gonna be so much fun. What are you dancing Tuesday night? Um, we're dancing the rumba because the judges yeah. want to see us dance the rumba again. Um, no, you did it before. You done it before, but they want us like to redeem ourselves. It's a new song and new choreography. And then we're dancing the freestyle, which is like the dance, I guess. In the past seasons, you know, it's really come down to that one dance, you know. People might be leaving the pact all season, but, you know, they've fallen short at that one dance and have lost it all. So. What are you dancing, Aaron and Max? Take it. Uh, we're redoing our samba <laughs> because uh, uh, Len didn't like me to take my shirt off, so I'm going to take my pants off. <laughs> oh, no. And, uh, no, I'm kidding. No, we're going to do, like, a traditional samba, and then we have to also do the freestyle routine, which is, like Derek said, make it or break it dance. You know, if you make it in the final and you pull off this one uh, with fine colors, you can take it. But what are you going yeah. to do? Yeah. <laughs> we're doing the Viennese Waltz again, which was our first dance in the competition, so we're going to get a chance Strauss to raise Waltz. our score. That's right. Yeah, I get Viennese and Vietnamese confused, the waltzes. Viennese. Viennese. And then the freestyle, the freestyle, obviously, we're going to just put in the moves that we like. And we've spent the whole season learning different techniques and different styles. And we're going to kind of collaborate and put together the, the things that suit our taste the best. Okay, how up are we? Nicole, are we rare? We... Brooke just said, wow, it has happened so fast. So we've only got like four or five days left, so we're in the home stretch. It's Tuesday night, the finals. A winner will be announced yes. on Tuesday night. What do I get? Uh, help me with this. Wow. What do you win, Aaron? The mirror ball trophy. It's equivalent to the Heisman Stanley Cup and um, Olympic gold. Why wouldn't it be, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 right? Bragging rights more than anything. Are you putting this in a class with Olympic gold? <laughs> yeah. I mean, have you got that wrapped out just, with the show? It's a prestigious award, and there's been so many amazing people that have come and compete in this competition yeah. and won the mirror ball. And so I think to join that group would be an honor for anyone. I salute life. you all. Aaron, Max, Evan, Anna, Nicole, and Derek. Good luck to whoever Thank wins. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And whoever loses. Uh, <laughs> they win. <rigged> it. <laughs> it's out of luck. <laughs> <laughs>